Today, we're taking a tour of the Monroe Avenue water filtration plant. In late 19th century, Grand Rapids residents relied on private companies to provide purified drinking water. As the city grew, so did the need for clean water. Ten years later, citizens approved a bond to build this facility, which was designed by Rudolph Hearing and George Fuller of New York. The plant was expanded in 1924, and a pipeline to Lake Michigan was added in 1938. The final expansion occurred in 1957, but the plant ceased operation in 1961. At its peak, this facility could treat 60 million gallons of water per day. On January 25, 1945, Grand Rapids became the first city in the world to add fluoride to its public water supply. The city, along with the U.S. Public Health Service, the Michigan Department of Health, and the University of Michigan School of Dentistry began a 10-year study on effectiveness of fluoride, finding a 65% reduction in tooth decay and led to the adoption of fluoridation as an accepted public health measure. Thanks for watching. If you've enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe for more content on everything that makes West Michigan great.